Good morning, and welcome to a special episode of Kid News. I'm Tori. Today is Monday, November 11th, 2024, a day that many of you have off from school. The reason is Veterans Day, a federal holiday and once-a-year opportunity to honor all members of the U.S. military, whether currently serving or not, and recognize the sacrifices they made to protect our country and our freedoms. Veterans Day always lands on November 11th and was originally known as Armistice Day to salute the temporary truce or armistice between the Allied nations and Germany that brought an end to World War I. The truce treaty was signed on board a rail car in France and took effect on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, which was 11 a.m. on November 11th in 1918. The holiday stayed Armistice Day until 1954, when the U.S. government changed the name to Veterans Day and changed the focus to include everyone who served in any war, not just World War I. Decades later, Veterans Day is often confused with Memorial Day. Both holidays shine a spotlight on the military, but Memorial Day in May is to remember those who died while actively defending our country, while Veterans Day in November is to thank and recognize all who served, whether during wartime or peace. Lastly, we have a punctuation footnote. There is no apostrophe in Veterans Day, and that's on purpose. According to the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, there's no possessive because Veterans Day is not a day that belongs to veterans, but a day for honoring veterans. We hope you take the opportunity to do just that. Maybe it's a parent or grandparent or family friend. Maybe it's someone you don't know but see in uniform. If you're with your parents, take a moment and thank them for their service. You'll make their day. Thanks for tuning in today, and we'll see you back here for a new episode of Kid News tomorrow morning.